Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors, this is Starscream1988 And today is Tuesdays, and what are Tuesdays? Tuesdays Toy Haul uh, Welcome, thank you for watching and viewing, uh, I do very much appreciate it So yeah, so let's kind of get um, going with this um, This is week 30 something <laughs> I'm in, still in the middle of a move um, I really should have checked what week it was, but I just really didn't. I can't even remember what was the last time I did this. Uh, we'll call this toy haul. I mean, by the time, obviously, you're when you're reading that out there, it, it is correct. But I, as I'm filming, it's really not Tuesday. It's really Sunday. <laughs> um, but I know I'm not going to be able to have any time during the week to go to stores and check for the stuff. So I know this will be put up for Tuesday's toy haul. So it's pretty much the same thing anyway. So without further ado, I'm going to start with a little bit of Hot Wheel love for you Hot Wheels collectors out there. So picked up a couple cool goodies. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I picked up the 57 Chevy here in the red. I believe that the other color deco is the purple, and I already have that one already. So there's the, the red one. <clears throat> Next, I was able to pick up the um, 70 Chevy um, SS. Very, very nice car. Um, and I like that they didn't keep... Um, like it's not like an opposite type color it's really like just totally different the other one was orange and stuff like that uh, so this is really cool i did pick up a second one and uh yeah so that's pretty cool there so that was that <clears throat> actually the reason i picked up two is so i can open one and these did come from the p case the last of the year cases that's pretty cool i hear that uh there's a few um already 2014 cases out there so that's pretty cool so i'm gonna have to start looking for those now uh, very very nice car very nice um i also picked up um, i picked up another enterprise i already opened it though um i picked up uh, one with damage because i needed one to open in my collection um picked up this beauty here because again i needed one to open i just gotta check the package well this one's kind of bad already I'm, I'm sure this is probably gonna be the open one so anyway, but yeah, I picked up the Batmobile. <clears throat> um, this was pretty cool here. Um, I got very, very lucky. I've never been this lucky uh, to go to one store and pick up all these cool cars. Um, this isn't that much of a big deal. This is a normal, um, very you know, normal, um, you know, release. Um, but it is beautiful. I like it. You know, it, again, it comes with. It's the whole. I think you know where I'm going. It has the whole past and present. Um, deco there just like some of the other cars that I've shown and you know obviously other youtubers have shown so yeah you got this gorgeous green Mustang um, from 90, 1992 beautiful and then obviously <clears throat> I have the the new hotness 2007 version they really should have saved it for a uh, 2012 though to be honest um, but that's fine you know that's cool whatever so that's that's pretty cool now what made me be very very lucky is i've never gotten one of these at, at a store actually i own a super but yes i just said it super so i actually on the same shelf where this was that was right on top there i'm gonna show that to you guys i'm sure you guys have seen this anyway but um very very nice and it's a mustang so i love it and um yeah i'll probably be opening this believe it or not guys <laughs> i really don't sell my hot wheels and stuff so um, all my Hot Wheels get open, and they, um, eventually I will be having a kick-ass Mustang display, I'm hoping. So, but yeah, man, that's not, I mean, for now, obviously, I don't want it to get scratched or staying in there. But, um, yeah, super treasure hunt. So, that's pretty cool. And then, last but not least, can it get better? really can't get too, too much better. But, again, same exact day, um, I got very lucky. And um, I was able to get the current treasure hunt, the last one, I believe. Yeah, P-Case. So I was able to get the RX-7, which is really nice. I love RX-7s. It's another another great vehicle. It's a nice, nice car. Um, but I didn't get one. I ended up getting two. I've, I got, again, super, super lucky day. Never, ever happens. So very, very cool. Very exciting stuff. So yeah, that was my um, Hot Wheels stuff. So let's take a quick little pause here and I'll be right back in two seconds. Alrighty, so even though it's obviously only two seconds ago, 
it was really in like 20 <laughs> the, the baby got up so i had to see what she needed <laughs> so um let's get into a couple of non-items that i we really never collect i just kind of saw them they were on clearance and toys R Us, so i kind of grabbed them um not that i'm gonna collect the whole thing and they're not spectacular but you know i sometimes i i, I want to have a shelf with like all the weird kind of somewhat movie related cartoon related at least one shots well not one shots but one off that i don't collect so um i, I grabbed him because i thought he just looked real cool so he'll go with the shelf with all the one off toys you know one of just something that i've ever collected that i just thought looked cool so i grabbed him but obviously i couldn't just leave him alone so i had to give him at least um you know the the main guy here thrawn so i thought he looked pretty cool um so you know they'll, they'll be put together something that would be nice to have something different but yeah these were half off at toys r us's i don't know if you're a big hobbit or lord of the rings fan but you can get these for half off now so grab that <clears throat> and then um this is again an older toy that i went to one of those small little uh, non-comic book stores it's really a toy store it's called little things remembered or, or little treasures i think um, they've been around for i think a little over a year now uh, they moved from one section of the mall to the other they're in the pvd mall in massachusetts and um they had this and this believe it or not this is the last role-playing toy that i needed and i kept just passing it um because as you all know i believe it was 39.99 um uh, believe it or not i don't know why they had it so low but i picked it up for an amazing 15 dollars now for those of you that don't collect power rangers you probably wouldn't give a crap <laughs> which is fine um but no it's 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 a cool toy um again it's older and whatever not but so that's that's cool you know so again i am actually done with the role playing um, aspect of all these power rangers so that's pretty cool so that was it for power rangers nothing more um the rest of this will be transformers so that you guys all know um we'll start with some old stuff uh, and uh oops sorry about that just move the camera we'll start with some old items and then we'll finish with the new stuff so um to keep you know collecting or to finish actually my line of transformers prime um i went to a five below as you can see there five below that means everything in the store is less than five dollars i don't have i don't know if you have any of those in your area but, but yeah i was able to um find wheel jack believe it or not no i did not have wheel jack so that's why i had to grab him he's not an extra or anything like that um there was there were a couple more and i almost felt like grabbing them but i was like ah, what's the reason you know let's go for let other somebody else enjoy him but yeah grab wheel jack <clears throat> I grabbed Ratchet, very nice. Um, it's funny going to these stores and grabbing one or two here and there that I'm missing, you, know, you know, after a year, year and a half or whatever. Um, you start, um, you know, I'm, I'm catching up to be honest. I, I have very, there's very few that I need to collect now. And I actually have almost a full line. Um, except for the weaponizer stuff, I just, I'm still not digging them. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll ever get those. Uh, they would have to be really, really cheap for me to grab them. So there's the um, infamous arachnid. Like arachnid, I guess a lot of people don't like this. <clears throat> and Dead End, which is again another remold of um, Wheeljack, obviously. Except he has a different face, which is pretty cool. So I kind of like the colors, even though he's funky looking. And I like his bio, he's pretty cool. Uh, something to do with Dark Anna John. I guess he's had too much of it or too much exposure to it, so he's kind of messed up. So, um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So that was that. Now, I'm actually not done. I had an army build, of course. So I saw one of these guys here, and I already have two, not including two first editions. So I actually theoretically have four. So two first editions, two of these RIDs. Uh, but these are obviously the easier ones to find. So here's my number three. <clears throat> number four. Number five. And last but not least, number six. So yes, you know, they're $5. I couldn't pass them up. I'll probably um, be able to do like a really nice... Not a fight. I don't know if I'll be able to do a battle display, but at least I'll have uh, Megatron and 
um, like the main guys, you know, Megatron, Soundwave, and Starscream. I'll have them up front, and I'll have all these guys surrounding them, protecting them or whatever. So this should be kind of cool. And I love this car. I think this is one of the coolest Transformers that came out of this line. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, grab four more. I think $20 is not too bad of an investment. I'm definitely done. Um, even if I ever see more of these, I wouldn't grab any more. I think six will be more than enough, plus the two first editions. Uh, plus, if I want to be a completist, and I'm, which I kind of am, <laughs> fortunately, um, I still have to get the general, um, which is the white one, and I gotta get at least two of the flying ones from the AM line. So, yeah, there you go. So, once I get those, I'll be 100% done for my liking, anyway. Um, I always say that waiting is. Sometimes not getting something right away is, uh, is you know, obviously you take a chance. Um, sometimes, obviously, you're, obviously you're late in the game, but, um, I, you know, I waited. I went to my local marshals. Um, I walked down, and the lady was about to price it. I said, no, 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 can you just leave it clean? So, that actually, there's no prices on these. She said, well, it'll scan regardless. Um, these were on clearance, guys, and I got lucky. I found this at, again, my local marshals, the one in Woburn. Um, so I was able to finally finish off uh, some of these Voyagers. Uh, as you can see, this is Sound Blaster with Buzzsaw. Um, the main reason I got it is um, not because I need to have another same exact mode, you know, this Blaster and um, Soundwave, but I figured, you know, it's a cheap price. And yes, I am a completist. Um, so I don't care if they do 10,000 different colors. I don't get all 10,000 different colors, but you know, I get a good portion of it. Um, so yeah, so this was, um, 12.99 guys. I, I couldn't believe it. And, um, yeah, I just took it to the front and then they rang it up and automatically came out to the 12.99. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I was pretty kind of, I was somewhat excited. The thing that I was most excited about, even though I'll be totally honest, I don't like it, but I just have to have it, obviously, because now I have the <clears throat> the somewhat Japanese version, the one that comes with Bruticus. Yes, I had to get Soundwave. So now I have both versions. I have the one with the Chrome, and I have this one. Um, this was also $12.99, of course. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So now I'm pretty, pretty complete with my Voyagers, I believe, um, in terms of this generation. Well, the, the recent ones, anyway. So very very nice. So that was that was pretty cool. That was exciting. And then these will be the last to be shown in the video here. Um, went to my local Walmart. This was a few days ago. All my shopping was definitely done within this week. That's why it's really um, one toy haul. Usually sometimes when I do two three weeks worth. I'll write whichever toy hauls there were, but this really happened in the last week, so um, I was able to find a Thundercrack, as you can see there. And this is part of the IDW line. Pretty nice. Um, believe it or not, I actually still don't, I still don't even own Starscream, the, the mold version of this. So, um, I'm not in a rush for it, whatever, no big deal. I've passed on it so many times. Um, but Thundercrack is a little bit more special, I think, um, you know, Whenever they do Transformer line, Starscream is always a given. Usually, Thundercracker is not or Skywarp, so I tend to try to grab those before I grab my namesake. <laughs> um, only because again, sometimes they tend to be a little bit harder later on. So, um, <clears throat> so got him. I uh, was lucky enough to find him also, and that is Mighty Megatron. There, it's pretty cool, Stealth Fighter. I kind of almost wish this was a Voyager just so he would be that much bigger than Orion Pax because uh, I do have Orion Pax and Bumblebee so far in the collection but I understand why they do it like this you know at the end of the day you're really pinning them robot to robot size I think so that's why you kind of want to have them all the same size even though this would dwarf Orion Pax as a pickup truck or whatever but you know that's cool and then the last one I was able to find Mr. Hoist, as you can see there, pretty cool. Um, the only thing I'm still missing is Trailbreaker or Trail Cutter, whatever they're calling him now. Um, he's the only one that I have never seen, so I've never passed on him. I just haven't seen him, so he's he's so far the um, the hard one to find for me anyway in my area. So I did um, go ahead and order from I don't think it's Keith's Fantasy. There's so many third-party brands, but I did order those extra bits for thirty dollars for him and Trail Cutter. 
So hopefully I'll find a troll cutter, troll breaker, um, so I can um, make them more look more G1, obviously. So those should be coming soon. Uh, you know, I'll show you those. I'm, I'm sure other people have done it, but you know, I'll give you my take on it. So, but yeah, that was basically it, guys. It was. Um, it's been. It's been a few weeks since I've done one of these. Obviously, um, it's been crazy. And um, but I do want to appreciate for the people that are still watching all my old past videos. Um, that is so awesome of you. Um, thank you for supporting Starscream 1988. That is that's that's great. I love it. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep bringing you guys more content, more hauls, more more videos whenever I can. When I get a little bit more settled, and this won't be the display area anymore. Um, I'll probably have to use it a couple more times, but you know I'll. I'll get what you guys are used to seeing for the past um, few months. I'll get my display back up eventually um, so I can um, do my reviews and stuff. But guys, as always, thank you. Thank you so very much. I do appreciate it. You guys take care. Please rate, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. You guys take care. Bye.